So I just wanted to show you a few new features that's in the, the latest update. Um, there's a really big bug fix um, that uh, causes it to crash um, every five minutes or so it's, at certain times. Uh, that's now fixed, it's, it's a lot more stable. Uh, but the main uh, new additions are building related, uh, everything to do with building. So I've just got a building construct here, I'll just show you what's new. First of all when you go into the building constructor you've got this new button here, building manager. Um, there's not a lot in it at the moment but there will be later. So if I go into other, you can see here this is your other build. So if you've made your own um, structures that, this is where they'll appear. And you can see they get, they get given these automatic numbers and names and things. Um, so here you can just like click in the box, um, remove the name and give it a proper name like my call house or something like that and then click on the rename button and that renames it um, so you don't need to go out to a Windows Explorer to rename it that way so the next new feature that I'm very excited about is the Simucraft store this is where you'll be able to download browse and download uh, free buildings that other people have built and obviously you can submit your own as well so you can you can all start sharing um, different buildings that we've built and get our Simia folks to build them um, in our worlds as well so I'll, I'll just click on that and this is what you get um, there's residential buildings these are buildings that are, have a control box and so a Simia folk can actually live in them and you know you can get rent from them um, the rest rest of the um, buildings will be just other. Uh, there's no commercial or industrial um, because these are kind of reserved for proper in-game buildings like the bakery and the, the lumber mill, things like that. So there's two categories. I'll just go into residential to show you that one. So this is what you see when you go into it. Um, the newest ones will appear at the top and you'll see whether you've got it already by the got it or download button here. So it's just a, a list of what's available. As, as we get more on there there'll be a page backwards and forwards button so you can like properly browse through and see what you see what you like. Um, so the first bit is the title, um, fairly self-explanatory. The dimensions quite important that so you know what size of building you're downloading. Uh, all the dimensions are, are in uh, sort of block size so it's left to right it's that one's seven and then front to back it's eleven and then it's sixteen blocks high so you can you can gauge how, how big that's going to be and then who it's submitted by or made by how many downloads it's had so far and then like I say this this column will show you whether you've got it already or you can download it and then there's this, just a short description you can add a little bit more um, into what it what it is. So like if it's a castle here, then you could put more details. What sort of castle is it? Is it what sort of materials it's made of? Things like that. So very easy to use. Say if I want to download um, a new building, or this tiny house, just click the download, and within about a second or so, it's it's got it, and then it's available straight away for you to to go ahead and build. So if I go back. Uh, to well straight out of it. I'll use this construct here. So uh, actually before I do I just want to explain a, a little problem that some of you are having with the building constructor. If you get in a stack of um, blocks one by one high and it's overwriting the actual control itself it's all down to where you stand. Um, I'll just demonstrate quickly with some steps. You know when you're building steps and you, you click them there and then you walk around and click there and so forth like that. It's going on where you're standing and the direction you, you're standing on where to place them. And it's the same with the constructor box. Um, it's all down to where you stand. So if you want the building to be there you stand on this side. But some people are, I think, they're, they're standing sort of diagonal to it. And so it doesn't know whether you want to build from this side or that side. So you need to just stand on the right side that you want to build on. So I just sort of uh, just drop that in to help you out. So let's go and build this small building. So if right click as normal and hire a worker and choose somebody. Then when you go to choose a building and residential, uh, 
um, this bit here is, is new as well so rather than just the buttons um, you now get the dimensions of the building again in left to right front to back and bottom to top and you also get the the cost of building the building you know four credits and 16 cents um, now the built-in ones like the apartment blocks and the medium houses uh, don't show anything in the last bit of the panel uh, but the ones you download off the store will show you um, who submitted it or who built it so that's handy for if you've got like 20 different castles you've downloaded um, you can see who's your building or choose who you're building so this is the one I've just downloaded the tiny house it's only 5 by 6 by 5 and it's 2 credits and 12 cents so just click I'm on that as normal and click done. I've moved the done button up here as well um, just seemed a bit better up there so the builders just then build the building just like the, the built-in buildings I've already put some uh, some wood and stone and things in here I think it's stone and wood and glass and wool I think for this one while he's building that actually um, I know what you're going to ask you're going to say can we have a feature where um, you see what materials are needed before you actually build um, I'm working on that it's going to be in a, in a future version so you, you'll be able to see that it needs 16 wall 10 cobblestone things like that um, before you actually build because I know that's, that is really helpful one of the changes incidentally is, is to do with the rent um, as it was in the past it, um, it was just one credit per building it didn't really matter on the size of the building uh, now it does so for instance this building this tiny house I'm just going to um, I'm just going to click on that so I can show you it cost two credits and 12 cents to build so how, how it works now is for the rent it's going to be half that so you'll get one credit and six cents per day for this particular house and likewise the, the larger houses like uh, the apartment module as well uh, that they'll obviously you get more rent per block as well so that it's just a bit fairer that way that way you, you can pay a lot to build the building but um, you'll get it back um, in the long term from the rent another new alteration as well you can see it's it's sunset now and the builders just um, disappeared they've gone back home and they've not finished the house this is um, to, to bring it in alignment with all the other jobs uh, the builder will now just go home at night whether the building's finished or not and then first thing in the morning they'll either walk or beam back and just carry on building where they left off just finish off the roof so it's now morning and the, the builders back I'm red. Looks like he's waiting for logs. I'm just going to cheat now for the purposes of the video. So you can see now it's, it's um, he's just finishing off the roof. And it'll be done in a few minutes. So now the building's complete. And now as it was in the residential selection and it has a control panel, it means that um, people can actually just move in as normal so I can right click that and already somebody's moved in Derek Kettle has moved into this building and you're now getting the uh, slightly more rent than you would do um, in previous versions okay so that's about it for this video um, hope you enjoy the new online building store uh, there's already a handful of buildings in there um, from giant castles like this to small houses a couple of modules I've got a few more down here um, there's a small selection already um, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of submissions from you guys um, so hope you enjoy playing Simucraft as much as I do thanks for watching bye